Hello everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're looking at some Microsoft Flight Sim tips and tricks to make the most professional flight sim possible. So let's get straight into it. Okay, the most key part of this is having the stick, stick and throttle because if you have it, then it will make a much smoother flight for you. You can plug it into your Xbox Series X right here. The next part of this is turning off multiplayer, AI traffic and turning on live weather. Live weather is really important because it will make it as close to real life as possible. The next part is getting liveries. Liveries are another really key thing in flight simming. Uh, I definitely recommend four simmers from the marketplace. Uh, their liveries are absolutely amazing. The livery I'm going to be using for this is by four simmers. It's Turkish Airlines. From London Heathrow. Okay, the final thing to purchase from the marketplace would be aircraft stat airport static aircraft because with this basically brings the airports to life with aircraft. Okay, so now you're in your plane. What you want to start with is by turning on the batteries and the external power. I never used to know where these are. But now I found them, they are almost built into me. So this is them now. The final thing before we're starting moving is using ground services. I am get I get really annoyed by the amount of p famous people, like YouTubers, who don't use them. They are such a vital part of realism in the flight sim. I I use them on every flight sim stream I do. Um, you find them in the ATC tab, and this is me connecting the jetway now. So now you're at the runway. You are going to need to turn on your strobe lights before entering the runway. Once your strobe lights are on, uh, other aircraft on ground, even though there isn't any, are going to know at, that you are heading onto the runway. So now you're taking off in your A320neo, uh, you definitely want to get to around 160 to 170 knots, I usually go for 160. And once you take off you want to maintain a pitch degree angle of around 5 degrees to 10 degrees. Okay so now you're at your cruising altitude of 30,000 feet, which is a pretty good cruising altitude. Um, you want to turn on your AI pilot so the plane does not basically move up and down too much. So there we have it, guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. As always, goodbye.